So we're here with the Farthing Girls. Hi guys, do you want to introduce yourself and what like, instrument you all play in the band? I'm Tom, I play the drums. Uh, I'm Ashley and I play lead guitar. I'm Ashton and I play li uh, rhythm guitar and vocals. Uh, I'm Jack and I play bass. So first of all I've got to ask you, where did you, the title for your band come from? What was the inspiration it was, for that? <laughs> it was a search on an uh, um, encyclopedia. It just came up with different words. And so what does, it, what does it mean? It's actually a part of a woman's dress from <laughs> yeah. the, I think it was the Tudors. You know how the dress is um, like popped out in a like, circular shape in like, the Tudor times? It was the times. elastic, weren't it? Yeah, the uh, wooden... Yeah, that made the distance yeah, yeah. out, yeah. So in a more educated approach. <laughs> so you just like the word, really? It just yeah. sounds good. Well, sounds sounds good. <laughs> metaphorically speaking, you could say that we are a band that lift what's best out of you, I suppose. Yeah, look you look. at that, look at that. Yeah. He, knows what, he knows what he's saying. <laughs> Have you practiced that one? <laughs> Only a few times. We just, we just wrote it, he's yeah, really yeah, we're, we're we're script, script, man. So you were uh, in a band before, I believe, a six-piece band before. What was that right, like yeah. and why, yeah. did, why have you got this like new band now? So that, that formed when we were all in school and it was with two other people. Oh no, it was with three other people and it kept going changing. So Jack's a new bassist, there was about three different bassists. But basically it was a six-piece pop rock. Uh, group and we made a few singles and a uh, recording company called Sugar House asked us to come and record with them obviously it cost us some money so we went and we got a single recording it was really good called Drastic Measures uh, and we promoted that as much as we could but other commitments from members of the band who aren't here now meant that it just wasn't feasible anymore yeah. So we decided when there was only four of us turning up to practice, we just thought, well, we'll try some new sounds, you know, go for a bit more of a rocky sound. And then, um, yeah, so after a few weeks of practicing, we just thought, well, we'll form another one, try it. And this is, you know, four months, four months down the line now. Yeah. And we're here, so. So what's your, like, musical inspiration now, then? Well, Tom, <laughs> I, I don't even know, I, I'm into heavy metal, to be honest, but... <laughs> you know, when, as soon as I play in this band, I just enjoy it. So. Yeah, um, and I believe you've built up quite a big fan base as well since you've been together. So, like, what, what do you think is key to that? Like, Facebook, Twitter, Jack, <laughs> Jack, Jack, <laughs> Jack. <laughs> no, um, it's just a bit of everything, really. Just getting your face out there. Yeah, like, we had a good following from Revo as well. So, obviously, because I was controlling the social networking for Revo, uh, you know, so Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and everything like that. So probably quite cheaply. I promoted Farthing Girls through that as well, so we got some some of the fan base from there. Uh, and then it was mainly just word of mouth. We've just been saying to all our friends and family, oh yeah, we've got a new band going. We did a, a competition similar to this, but not as high profile, at uh, a music shop in Blackburn last, last month called Reedies. We didn't get yeah. through from the audition for it, but that was our first gig, so you know, we said everyone come down and have a listen. Yeah. Uh, met a few people there, spread the word, but it's just, yeah, I don't know how it's... I wasn't expecting to do as well as it has, but I've done alright yeah. so far. Oh, that's good. So obviously, um, if you go through in the heats and that, you get through to the final and then to headline the festival. So what, what new music would you have planned if you did? If you did get new chance? music. We've got a half an hour set tonight, but Lord that's eight songs. A lot of other songs. Yeah, we've got about five others in the mix at the minute that are going to develop after this. Yeah. So... We have a full set there. Yeah. It's going to be about 13 songs as well. Oh, thank you very much, guys, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.
Yeah, I threw your